Okay. It's, it's rolling. Yep. Okay. Places. Okay. So, first check. Look at our ingredients, our materials. Do we have the materials that we need for this experiment? <coughs> yep. We have a three gallon and a five gallon water bottle. We have matches and we have isopropyl alcohol. First thing you want to do, let's start with the big one. This has been used for other experiments, and even if it, was, if, even if it wasn't sitting around for a while, the air inside is not the mix of air that's outside in the room. So we want to mi mix up the air to make sure that there's enough oxygen in there for combustion. If it was all carbon dioxide in there, it wouldn't burn. So, try to blow into the bottle. You might want to look away after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's blow perfect. Hey. Now you can blow into this bottle. <laughs> so we're stirring oh, up I can the air, smell getting it. some of the oxygen. We're getting a little carbon dioxide, so he's excelling carbon dioxide, but the stirring <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Now we need 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. Approximately. We're going to use this to measure. Craig, can you tell me what is the smallest measurement on that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 25, milliliters. 25 milliliters. And how did you determine that it was 25 either? I don't see 25 on there. Well, the next one is 50, so I switched. Well, you have 50 because the first one is 50. Okay, good. So you're going to pour <coughs> less than half of that. Right? So half 25 would be over 10. Try it, try and have it again. Just enough to cover the bottom of that. Okay, you're going to pour out 10, approximately 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol. Woo, Trey, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that looks like it's a little bit less than half. Good. All right, put the cap back on the alcohol. Water sit, water evaporates, right? Mm -hmm. Alcohol evaporates at a much higher rate, so it's going to fill this with fumes, but we don't want to wait for that. So we want to switch it around. All right, so Trey, hold the bottle, and without ever tipping the bottle over, we want to switch it around and get that alcohol on all the sides of the bottle, up and down and around. Right, so tip it, tip it on its side a little bit. Make sure you don't tip it all the way out. So while you're doing that, we'll start with Matt. Matt, do you want to measure out 10 milliliters? Maddie, you're going to like the match for this. 
Oh, <laughs> sweet. Are you comfortable with that? Okay. So you're going to light the match. And we're looking at our instructions. We're going to turn off the lights. Trey is going to take his hand off the bottle and he's going to quickly drop the match inside. You don't put your fingers inside, just over the edge of the bottle. Okay? Can you handle that? Oh, God. Okay. Combustion. Okay. Bruh. Can we hit the lights, please? Bruh, I need to, like, move up. Oh, bro. All right, let's get it. Yeah, I think you ever turn their flash on. It's gonna be sick. Ready, steady, go. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was sick! Oh my god! Should we turn the lights back on again? Uh, yeah, go ahead and turn the lights on oh, briefly. So that we can yeah, see again. Am I going to do it again? Bruh. You're going to light it again. Oh, I'm I'm light it. No, I want to light it. No, you're, you're, you're done. You're, you're done. <laughs> oh, it smells so bad. Or, or it smells amazing. It smells like the cow. Alright, it smells like the cow eyeball. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bruh. You can smell the alcohol. That's because the vapors are getting all the way out here, right? How far back can you guys smell alcohol? Can you smell all the way over there? No, I'm still recording. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, but I've got the buttons on the bottom, so it's going to tip over. If I would have to stand it up, I'd use the other side. But. Okay, that, that's probably good. Okay, so let's set it at the edge of the lab table. Step it back. Just turn, turn, turn the light off. Turn the light off. I, I jumped. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. I almost walked into you. Go, Kaya. Okay. And, and remember, you guys are going to stand back. Oh my god. Whenever you're ready, I'm going to get scared. Oh my god. 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 That was sick. All right. I still get just as scared the second time. <laughs> okay, so let's hit the lights. Okay, Bro, stop filming. Oh, that was amazing. That again. Whoa, Ariel, what is your reaction? Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, actually, are you still filming? Yep. Okay, let's let's let's. let's I'm on. I want you guys to touch touch the, the bottle. Ooh, what? Ooh. Where is it hot? Right here. Oh, hello. Are they all equally hot, or is there? Why part oh, more hello. Hot than others? Oh my god. Okay. It's not going on there. <laughs> Bruh, I'm watching that back. I'm watching that back. Okay, this is the explanation for the whoosh bottle experiment we demonstrated in class today. In looking at this experiment, we, it's important that we recognize the reactions that are available to us. We have endothermic reactions and exothermic reactions. Exothermic reactions release energy, they release heat. Endothermic reactions absorb heat. The reactions in this experiment are, can you guess? Exothermic, that's right, they release heat. So in this case, the bottle starts full of air containing the important chemical element, oxygen. Alcohol is quite volatile, which means it evaporates very quickly, turning into vapor. When the alcohol evaporates, you get a mixture of air, oxygen, and alcohol in the bottle. Throw in a match, we add energy, and the two chemicals react. This is a combustion reaction. It is an exothermic reaction. It releases heat. After an initial whoosh, it uses up most of the oxygen in the bottle. You might see the flame blink on and off or chug in the bottle. This occurs because there is still alcohol in the bottle, but the oxygen is used up, so oxygen is drawn into the bottle from the opening. Ignites, more oxygen is drawn into the bottle, and ignites until the vapor is basically used up. 
The reaction produces carbon dioxide and water. If you were to immediately try this reaction again by adding more alcohol, you wouldn't get a good reaction because the bottle is now full of carbon dioxide instead of oxygen, and flame needs oxygen in order to burn.